Are you constantly being asked by your team, when are you available to do this? When is this team or these subcontractors available to work on the next project? Or maybe you're being asked that by your clients and you want to understand what your capacity is. I'm going to show you a workflow that you can use to understand your team's capacity in terms of when they are available for the next project. We're going to use the example of a exterior and interior painting company that has been using monday.com to manage all of their projects hi my name is tara and i'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of simple day my goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com if you need help with a custom implementation my contact details are in the description below let's jump into today's tutorial and make monday the best part of your week I wanna give you a little more background to this use case and why I think this use case can be really beneficial for a lot of different people. So this company that I'm working with is actually a painting company. They mostly do external jobs. If you look over here at project type, you can see that they do interior, exterior, sometimes cabinetry, sometimes they paint cabinetry, sometimes they do wallpaper, and sometimes they have some combinations. Now, what happens is, is they have different teams that perform this different work. So there's a group, let's say, of subcontractors that do the interior painting, and then there's a group of their employees that do the exterior painting. So this company is managing a number of workers, a number of some subcontractors and tons and tons of jobs that they all need to do at the same time. Now, while they're managing that, we also have the salesmen and the salesmen go out, they meet potential clients or they um, speak to them on the phone. And one of the most important questions that the client asks is, when can you do my job? When is your team available to do my job? So this specific client wanted to know, I have all of these jobs that are currently in production. What can I tell my client to see the available capacity of my team? So what we did is we actually built a timeline view within monday.com. So that way the sales team can easily see the availability. So I want to show you how this works. So here we have a board production. Obviously I hid all of the information that's not relevant for this. You can see there's 66 columns. There's really a lot of information here, but I hid all of that. I created a new group. These are all test examples of potential jobs that they have. So what they would need to do is they would need to pick dates of all of these jobs, right? Because every job obviously goes according to dates. So let's just add some dates for these jobs and there's different job types. So I'm going to make um, one interior and two, sorry, two interior and one exterior. Okay. So here we have our jobs and we know that let's say on the, from the 11th to the 18th, the interior team has a job. And from the 23rd to the 29th, the interior team has a job. So technically the salespeople can come and look at this view and they can see all the dates, but this company really manages a lot of jobs. So they could have 50 jobs going on over the next month or two. And it's very hard for the sales team at a glance to understand what jobs are coming up and when the teams are free to start a new job, which is crucial information to tell a potential client. So what we did is we set up a timeline. I'm gonna actually just start from scratch so that way you can learn how to do it. If you click on blank view, we're making a dashboard here where we can have a number of different widgets. And I'm gonna click on add widget and I'm gonna to go to more widgets and I'm going to go to timeline. So here you can see that we've added our timeline. Okay. And now here our timeline, first of all, it's by week. So just note this, that you can change it to be months, days, weeks, however you want. I'm going to leave it by weeks for our example, but this isn't exactly how I want it because I want to see my timeline based on the different teams. Now, remember in this scenario, the different teams work on different projects and I need to know who's available for what job. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to choose my date column. Now project date is the one that I want to track because that's when I know when something's free, when's not, I'm going to unclick sub item because that's not relevant. Now, the most important thing here is group by. Now, I want to group this by project type. So now, all of a sudden, you can see that I have an interior job. And here you can have, you have the different addresses. And I have two interior jobs and I have one exterior job. Remember, that's just what goes back to our board. You can also decide to color it by project type, which I think is also a nice feature because it gives you that visual 
even though you have it over here on the left, I can very easily see these jobs. So if I go back to look at months, and this is just a little bit easier of a view. So if I am a sales manager and all of a sudden someone calls me for an interior job, so I can come and look and be like, well, we have some flexibility during these two days, but if not, then at the beginning of March, we have an opening for an interior job, but an exterior job, we have opening a lot sooner. So this is just a really simple widget that you can build within your monday.com boards that will help you realize when you have projects going on and when you can start your next project. Just to let you know, you can also use a Gantt chart, which is something that people really like, and you can use a calendar view. For this specific example, the painting company really liked this view because it was very clear who was doing what, but those are other options that I definitely would recommend exploring. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.